And uh, referee Carina Vitellano of Italy is charged with officiating in this one. And she leads the sides out. Nerve-wracking moments for experienced footballers, let alone young women of 15 and 16 years of age, as many of these players are. The long ball through the middle is a good one. It was a brilliant ball, in fact, and this is the chance, and France have the goal. France score because it was a brilliant through ball to Lea de Klerk, and the goal has come from absolutely nowhere, really. It was a superb pass that released her, though. There's the ball that sends de Klerk on her way, and she rattles it hard and low beyond the goalkeeper. France won. Democratic People's Republic of Korea nil. Still, the Koreans can't make much going forward. One shot they've had in 62 and a half minutes. Now they have five forward, and this may be the opportunity to prize open the French if she's on side. And she is. The flag stays down. Here is the chance of an equaliser. Back off the bar. Maybe it's not going to be Korea's night. It was driven by Ri Hyang Sim. She's made a great runner along the blind side, taken on the defender, gone past her, and is unlucky. Ri Kyung Hang, the crowd getting more and more excited. They sense there could be something on here yet for Korea. Tunkara defends expertly. Does really well in face of Ri Eun Sim coming at her. Now they're really coming on stronger Korea, looking for this equalising goal. The long range tries, and the goalkeeper back off the bar. But it's into the net this time. Korea have got their equalising goal. It was lifted in high, it came back off the crossbar, and there to pounce was you-know-who. Ri Eun Sim scores her eighth goal of this World Cup. She equals the record. And can Korea now go on to claim the crown? Corner Korea. Swung in low, right through! What a miss! What a miss from right by the posts! The little downward header from Cho Yung Gong. Oh, she's missed it by six inches, I would think. One minute and five seconds remaining for this game to be sorted conventionally. They need it into the penalty area. The French are all back covering. It will get in there here now, and it's... Oh, it's over the top! What an opportunity again for Ri Hyang Sim this time. The Koreans have managed to hit back, and that equalising goal from Ri Eun Sim leaves us with the final here in Baku, which ends with work to be done still, because it ends France 1, Korea DPR 1. And here at the end of these 90 minutes, the coaches are left to do their work again with France and Korea DPR locked at a goal apiece. It's Diani, and she's successful. Cari Diani. Well, they all have belief. And now it really is uh, Ri Eun Young who is forward next. There was a sudden change of heart a moment ago, but it will be Ri Eun Young. Remember, she has to score, otherwise the trophy goes to the French. Ri Eun Young, and it's all over. France have won the gold. They've won the World Cup. They've won it on a penalty shootout in the most dramatic of circumstances by seven to six. Rion Young will be inconsolable, no blame attached to her. The French who overcame Nigeria in the quarter-final on penalties by five goals to three after a goalless draw are the first Europeans to be champions in the World Cup final at under-17 level for women. And are they pleased? And Bruno, the goalkeeper, has made two saves and scored as well. And this time it's Rion Young who is foiled, but France... Nobody, I thought, expected them to come and win. Nobody expected them to reach the semi-finals, I don't think, either. But it's France's trophy for the first time. It's Europe's trophy for the first time. It finished 1-1 after 90 minutes, and France win the World Cup 7-6 on penalties. Here she comes now, the captain of France, Sandy Toletti, 
will be encouraged to lift that trophy high to declare that France are the winners of the World Cup for women of under 17 years of age in 2012. They got the better of teams like Gambia and Ghana. They drew with the USA and they drew with Nigeria. And finally, they overcome the Democratic People's Republic of Korea on penalty kicks. It's a lovely evening in Baku and it's a perfect evening if you're French. And we leave you with these pictures that proclaim that France are the winners of the Under-17 Women's World Cup of 2012.